Hey everyone, in today's iPhone and iPad video, I want to show you how to set up parental control on your iPhone or iPad. The very first thing you want to do is you want to go to the settings app of your phone right here. And if you scroll down here, there's an option here called screen time. All the controls are set in screen time. So go ahead and select that. And if you scroll down here, these options are what I'm going to walk you through to set up parental control. The very first one is called downtime. Schedule time away from the screen. Click this and you want to turn this on. This lets you schedule for times away from screen. Only apps that you choose are going to be allowed during this time. So let me turn this on and you could set this up to be the exact same time every single day. So for example, right here where it says from, maybe from 5 p.m. here, to 8 p.m. you don't want any apps to be allowed you could set that up here I will show you in another page how to allow some apps during this time which you could do the other option is customizing days you could actually set your entire seven day week by setting up downtimes at different times of the day so maybe on Saturday you don't need the same schedule you could go ahead and change that here or turn off Saturdays altogether on top and now you don't have any downtime set on Saturdays, but you do on other days. Let's go back and there is always allowed. We want to click on always allowed. And this is where we're going to set all the apps that are always allowed even during downtimes. So this is where you get the control between the downtime setting and always allowed setting. So now that we have downtime set, I'm right now only letting the phone app, the message app, the FaceTime app and the map app to be available during downtime. But if I wanna add more apps, for example, if I want to add the Calm app here, I could go ahead and add it by pressing the plus sign. Or if I wanna add a social media app, I could go ahead and find it in this list and choose Facebook here. And it's gonna get added right here on top. Now, during those downtime settings, only these five apps that are shown here are available. You could also change what contacts are even available. So under the contacts right now, Everyone on my phone could be contacted via messages, FaceTime, or a phone call. But it could change that to specific contacts, only giving permission on this control to specific people and conversation between those specific people. So you have a lot of control here. So the first thing was turning on downtime, scheduling your week, and then going to always allow and turning the settings for the individual apps. But you have even more options. You have app limits. Let's click that. And inside of app limits, you could press add a limit, choose an app or an entire category of apps. So if I want to limit social media apps, I could click social here, right there, select all of them by pressing check mark automatically, pressing next on top, and then saying that you only get one hour a day, every single day, to use any social media apps and I'll press add here and that will add it over here. The other option you have is you can press add limit and instead of choosing an entire category, press this arrow right here and choose individual apps. So maybe I choose Instagram here, press next and I wanna add a one hour limit to Instagram. I'll press add right there and it's gonna add just an app limit to that individual app. And it could be any app on your phone and you could really customize this page too. Using the categories is a bit easier just so every app under that category is defined by this app limit. Let's go back. You also could set communication limits. Again, the same kind of thing where you could set it up during downtime or anytime during screen time. So during screen time, you could just limit this to the people that they could contact contacts only or everyone on your phone same thing with downtime you could limit it there i usually don't use this option i like the option under downtime and always allowed and selecting the people you could contact there finally you have contact and privacy restrictions click that and you could try to block individual content here so under app store purchases i could go there and installing apps i could disallow this so they can't just install some app that i don't know about that will get turned off over here. Deleting apps or purchasing things inside of apps could also be allowed or not allowed. That's very useful. Also under allowed apps, you could turn things off. Maybe you don't want them to browse the web, turn off Safari here. 
Now, if they can't download another app to browse the internet and they can't use Safari on this iPhone or iPad, they can't browse the internet. So that's a great way to turn that off. Same thing with all the apps you see over here. And finally, you have contact restriction, which is really useful because you could change the rating here for movies, for TV shows, for books and apps, and all of them could be changed. So if you don't want them to watch movies, you could don't allow movies right here or just allow movies with PG-13 rating. So you could set all that up over here. You also have this option, web content. So you could go ahead and click that and restrict only allowing websites that you want them to see just by pressing that or limit adult websites that will block some websites or you can manually add some websites here. And we're not done quite yet. Let's go back to this page. We need to set a screen time passcode because if you don't do this, anybody could come on this page and turn everything off that we just did. So we need to come over here and set a screen time password and choose a password here. And sometimes it's gonna ask you if you want to log into your Apple ID to make sure you could back this up if you forget your password. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that for now. And screen time is set. Now this should be different than the one you use on your phone to log into your phone. I just used a different four digit ID. And now my screen time has been set and my parental control on my phone and iPad are set. Anytime I wanna turn this off completely, I could turn it off on the bottom of the screen, type in that passcode that I just put down and turn off screen time. And it's that easy to set up parental control on your iPhone or iPad. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.